Hi, Jos Hi Josue. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm okay, teacher. Good. A little tired. Really? Why? What happened? A lot of work. And mm -hmm. I have a, a little headache. Oh, I'm sorry to Maybe. hear that. Okay. Maybe it's for be at the computer all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that that does affect. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, do you wear glasses, Josue? Josue, do you, do you wear glasses? Teacher, I'm doing homework. To do homework? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but but do you wear do, so you wear glasses like reading glasses? No. No. Just, just okay. work. Okay. Just no, work, teacher. Uh huh. No, the reason why I was asking you is because um, if you wear glasses, they can protect you a little bit from. Uh, from the glare of the computer, right? Um, because if, if you wear glasses, um, you can have- Yeah, uh, in my case, I, I don't use. You, you don't wear them? Okay. okay. Yeah, but I don't use. You don't wear, you don't uh, wear. I, yeah, because um, we wear, we wear glasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't wear. Okay, okay, I see. All right. Um, and Raphael, how are you, Raphael? I'm good, teacher. Good, excellent. It has okay. been a good day. Above all, because day? the rain has stopped. Yeah, finally. Yes, it finally stopped. I know. Um, so that, that's that's good, right? At least it finally did stop. Yeah. Um, but I'm pretty sure that in the in the you know, in the early hours of the morning, it's going to be really, really windy and rainy. So yeah. hopefully, hopefully, um, you know, it happens while we are sleeping and not during the day, because I don't like to be all like wet and everything during the day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Luis, how, Luis Mesa, how are you? Fine, fine. Are you? What about you? Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, really, I have a question uh, with the platform. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, I'm I'm just I just working at a little moment, a few, but uh, I don't remember what point. But 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 it's it's the point, the first point. But I I was um, I once asked the question and I can't. I can check as uh, I can uh, push the bottom. I don't know why. So, so the, 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 the problem is with your, with the platform, with your, your computer or with, with the exercise? Uh, uh, with the exercise, hmm. maybe point, uh, point, point, 40 maybe i don't know really but but is but is is the second uh, lesson maybe i don't remember well well let let's let's me let me check 1.4 uh right now i i'm i'm checking okay all right you check and point. then let me know uh, 1.6 is yes. let me see oh, no it's 1.3 oh 1.3 in the listening? Yes. Um, yes, in the listening mm -hmm. exercise. Okay, so what, what did you say was the problem? Uh, when I uh, when I was uh, che check my, my punctuation, I can see my punctuation. Uh, Your score. When I uh, have uh -huh, my score, uh, in fact, um, I'm 
I'm I'm I'm I I'm point the am square, but I don't know why. Uh, I can't check my score. Okay, so it's more it's more about the platform then. It's either the platform or your device that you're using. So the, maybe the exercise is okay. Maybe the exercise is fine. But maybe the problem maybe. is that you. Maybe the problem is either that. Let me ask the rest of you. I can, have, I can see the. the I, I, I think can, I can see the the, the arm squares. I I, I I I can write the arm square, but uh, when I when I want to check my scores, uh, I can see the the, the scores. Mm -hmm. It's everything. I think it's it the internet because uh, something like that happened to me uh, today. But what I did was that I restart the platform. Um, uh, I, I, in, in after, um, it was working well. Well, maybe I will try tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. This is what you. Oh, I you was working do. in my cell phone. Maybe if I work in my computer. Yeah, maybe. It's better. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Try to just refresh your page because uh, I, I already have a score on that exercise. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I do. I do that, but when I refresh the page, uh, everything's it's the same. Uh, I start again. It's always the same problem. Problem. Yeah. I will well, try with, with the my computer. I was ask if somebody else had done that exercise, but if Dennis has done that exercise and he got a score, then it's probably not a problem from the, from the platform. So it could either be the internet connection in that moment that you were doing it or it could be a problem from one of the devices that you're using so it, what you could do is like if you were try doing it on your cell phone you can try to do it on your computer um, and check it checking your computer because i'm pretty sure that they it did register a grade and if you did it on the computer then check on yourself right just use another device to see if you can check and, and, and get your your score that way Okay. Okay. I will try. All right. Rafael, you were going to say something? Rafael? No, no, no. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. I just, uh, I saw that you, you had the intention of, of speaking. I'm going to say anything. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I, I, I saw that, um, like your, the light went off, so so I thought maybe maybe he wanted to say something. Okay, all right, guys. Um, so it, remember that we are um, yes, we are at the beginning of the of the week, which is um, you know it, sometimes you know we say oh yeah I have a lot of time to finish off on the in the platform, but just be very careful with that because. Um, you know, you, 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 it may feel like there's a lot of time, but time goes so, so quickly that, you know, by the, by the time you, you, you don't really realize that it's already the last week and um, we don't want to leave everything to last minute. So um, I would strongly suggest you work on the platform. In fact, um, this week, we're going to be finishing section one and we're going to start section two tomorrow, okay? So you should be able to work um, on, on that section, on section two by this weekend, right? So um, that way you, we, we are on time, okay? Okay, so, so class, um, yesterday, um, we started talking a little bit about um, problems, right? We talked about how to, um, talk about problems around the house, for example. Um, and what we're going to do is um, we are going to continue describing different problems, okay? Um, but this one is actually talking about problems, but more with the gerunds and infinitives, okay? 
So I'm actually going to show you over here how we're going to do this. Let me share the whiteboard with you. Okay. Um, so uh, first thing is that the first thing we're going to talk about is when you um, when we use a gerund. Okay. Um, so. So talking about problems. Okay. Um, talking about problems here. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna the first oh sorry, I'm just going to quickly I'm gonna change this to capital letters so we can see the difference between Talking about problems. Um, okay, All right, so um, the first one we're going to be talking about is using gerunds. Okay. Um, so uh, with gerunds, We use gerunds to talk about annoying habits. Usually, this is about annoying habits, okay, uh, or repetitive actions. So, annoying habits or Repetitive. Okay. Repetitive. Um, so these, like I said, annoying habits are very similar to repetitive actions. So um, the annoying habits are obviously problems. And when we're talking about repetitive actions, we're obviously talking about things that are problems, right? Um, so this would not be any type of, of just repetitive actions. This is actually um, something that is a problem, okay? To give you an example, um, so for example, change that. Oh, I know. Okay, All right, so um, to give you some examples on this, um, she keeps on calling me or she keeps calling me she keeps calling me um during um she keeps calling me during uh work hours okay so imagine you have a friend a sister a girlfriend a wife, <laughs> okay, and I'm I'm using this because uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, I have one girl in my class, <laughs> Diana. I have 
Welcome, Diana. I thought I still had boys in my class, but you saved me once again, Diana. <laughs> okay, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Okay. All right. So, anyways, um, imagine so you have a friend or um, you know a girlfriend, wife, anybody, and um, the the person, the the girl, she keeps on, she insists on it, and um, repetitively calls you during working hours. Now, if that's happening, that's actually something very annoying, right? Like, you, you know, you don't want someone calling you all the time uh, when you are working because obviously you're working, you know, and you probably have a boss that, you know, is keeping tracks on you, right? So, um, and that's why it would be something annoying, right? Um, so if you notice here, we're using We use um, keeps, which comes from the well, the verb keep. And if you notice over here, we're using the gerund. Okay, the gerund of call. Okay. All right, so that's basically what we're going to be doing here. I'll give you another idea, another example. Um, Another problem. Okay, this 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 is more like an annoying habit. This is uh, we're going to talk about a repetitive action. For example, the fan keeps uh, making a lot of noise. Okay. Or let me actually change this um, just so that you can see a different tense. Let me change that. Okay, um, let's say the no the fan kept making a lot of noise. Okay, just so that you can see a different tense. Because what I want you to notice is that it really doesn't matter the form of keep, okay? Uh, we can use keep in any form, okay? And the most important thing about this is that we use um, the gerund. Oh, hold on just give me a second. Ah, James doesn't want to cooperate with me today. Okay. All right. Um, oh, no, wait, sorry. I went back to keeps. Let me change that again. See how he doesn't want to cooperate with me today. There you go. Okay. So, like I said, it doesn't really matter the form of keep as long as you use the word keep. Okay, it can be the simple present or simple past. It really doesn't matter. Okay. And then we have the gerund, which is making. Okay. So, that's one way that we can you talk about a problem or like a that is a repetitive action. So if you say the fan kept making a lot of noise, right? That would be like in Spanish, el, el ventilador seguía haciendo mucho, mucho ruido, right? Okay, so that is a repetitive action. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yes. Yeah? I just noticed something here. I made a mistake in the spelling. 
and I don't, I don't want you guys to be copying wrong spelling. Repetitive, oops. Repetitive, there you go, repetitive actions. Okay, so um, that's one way we can talk about, um, about uh, annoying habits, repetitive actions, okay? Um, the other way, um, or the other thing that we can do is talk about um, uh, we can so this is more about um, problems, problems need that need attention. So problems that need attention. Um, so the example with this one would be My house needs um not nets, needs um um needs painting. My house needs painting. So imagine the last time I painted my house was, let's say, I don't know, 10 years ago, okay? If 10 years ago I painted my house, obviously the paint on my walls is not in a good shape anymore. Uh, probably there are parts of the house that are very, you know, walls that are very dirty. The color is um, probably uh, faded or there's lots of scratches, et cetera, et cetera, right? So we can say my house needs painting, okay? Um, another way we can say this is, um, okay, we can say the same idea here by doing this, we can say my house, needs to be painted. Okay, then my house needs to be painted. So this, these two sentences mean the exact same thing. Actually, I'm gonna change, let me just change this over here. So I have enough space. Okay, so these two sentences mean the same thing. Okay, so same meaning, just said in different ways. Um, I would say, if you were going to say this in Spanish, I would say this is more like, mi casa necesita pintura. And this one says, mi casa necesita ser pintada. Which is pretty much the same thing, right? Just said in different ways. Okay, so let me put uh, equal sign here. Okay, so they both mean the same thing. Okay, now, um, so what is the structure here? In this case, the structure is going to be, um, we're going to be using always need. Okay. like this one, need. Okay. And after the after um, after need, we can also use the 
Gerund. Okay, so this one painting. All right. Or we can use the, or it's also possible um, to use the passive infinitive. The passive infinitive is this. Okay, that's the passive infinitive. If you are wondering what I mean by the passive infinitive, it's actually, it, it sounds, you know, it sounds um, complicated and all, but it really isn't. The passive infinitive means just that, um, you know, to make a passive verb, uh, we always use the infinitive, sorry, let me start that again. Um, to, make, to make a passive verb, we always use the verb to be, right? Always, we always use be plus uh, the past participle. So the passive, the, the passive infinitive means that the verb to be will be in the infinitive form. Okay, let me just change that color so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so right here. Okay. So the verb to be, we're going to be using it in the um, in the infinitive, okay. And the past, the the after that in the passive, we always use the past participle, which in this case is going to be painted. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll give you another example just so that it's you know clear for everybody. I'm gonna give you the same thing. Um, I'm gonna give you two sentences that mean the same thing. Okay. Example. Um, we can say. Um, His car needed washing. Okay. And the other one would be his car needed what? You guys can actually my this. car. Sorry? Actually yeah. my car. Your car? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So yeah. So uh, this is true. Then uh, you know his car. His car needs uh, needs washing. Okay. So how do we finish this off? His car needed to be washed. Exactly. Be washed. To be washed. Washed. Exactly. The past principle of wash is wash. Okay. So there you go. So we have. Um, Needed. Okay. All right. So both of them have needed. Again, it doesn't matter what form of need. It can be simple present, simple past. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, and then we have over here, we're going to be using the gerund. In this case, the gerund is washing. Okay, and in this one, we're going to be using the um, the the, pa the passive infinitive, which is um, to be washed. Okay. Okay, and the passive infinitive includes the. Um, 
the infinitive of to be, which is right here, right, to be. Okay, and the, and the past participle of wash is washed, washed. Okay. How does that sound, guys and girls? Or better said, just girl, because only Diana, I think, is here. How does it sound? Teacher, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you say problems that need attention, um, I think about, um, for example, uh, people uh, that don't eat healthy or um, husbands that hit their wife. And uh, I want to make a sentence, but I don't know if you are talking about it. Okay, well, let's try it. Tell me what the sentence is that you want to make. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know well um, how to make the sentence, but, but I think, for example, people need um, eating healthy. People need what? Eating healthy. Okay, that's true, but that's not a problem. Eating healthy is not a problem. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, for example, it, it probably, the thing is that um, in this case, make sure that you're, it's a thing, the thing that you are describing here is the thing that has the problem. So in this case, the house has the problem. The problem is the paint. In this one, the car has the problem. The problem is that it's dirty, right? So here, the house is the problem because the house, um, the walls are looking really bad. In this one, the car has the problem because it's dirty and it needs washing. And in this one, the people have the problem, but what's the problem, right? So you have to make sure that the problem is the thing that you are describing, okay? So, prob um, eh, okay. Um, let's take about the, you said about so, a husband, a husband that, that, um, that hits his wife, for example, you, you mentioned, right? Yes. Okay, so maybe um, we can say uh, the husband has a problem and his problem is uh, he needs um, he needs counseling. He needs counseling. Do you understand counseling? No, I don't know. No, not really. Anybody understand what I mean by counseling? No. No? Um, counseling, it comes from like advice. It's similar to the word advice. So basically here, when you say someone needs counseling, it means that they need like therapy or advice. Okay. Teacher? Yeah. Oops. Yeah. So, and... We can't um, use uh, a gerund after the verb need if we don't have problems. Exactly. This is talking. If I want to remember, this is talking about the problems. These are everything here that I'm talking okay. about. Problems. Okay. This is the important. Part because, here. for example, with the because, for example, with the verb keep, we always put uh, the next verb in gerund form, right? Right. Yeah. And Keep working on uh, it. Uh, either, yeah. either a problem or not. Um, yeah. You can say, but, for example, keep working on it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But 
Yeah, it, but it's different with the Berkneer. Right. Uh -huh. um, okay. Yeah, it, it's, it looks at the, it, at the context, right? Okay. Um, okay. So um, if you say, for, for example, if you say, um, keep working on it, keep working on it, it's more like an encouragement. Um, keep working on it. But um, if you say the subject and then keep, and then the gerund, in that case, it means that there's a problem or something that is repetitive, okay? Um, so in this one over here, the, hus the husband needs counseling. This is like saying el esposo necesita terapia. Right, if, 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 if the guy, if, if the husband is hitting his wife, he's obviously not, he's, he's, he, he's, he, he has problems, right? He has some, some problems. And so he needs counseling. Yeah, does that make sense? Okay. Okay, so yeah. in this case, what would be the equivalent? Over here, what would we put over here? I'll start with the first one. The husband. Yes, to be counseled. Counseled. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? I'm I'm going to do something just because I want you guys to see that it's possible <clears throat> to put different forms um, of need. I'm gonna make it future. Okay. So the husband will need counseling, okay? Just because I want you guys to see that it's possible to do it in different forms of, of need. Okay. So in this case, the husband, continue. Will need. Will need, good. To be counseled. Right. counseled. And to be counseled. Sorry. Yeah. Council. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. So far so good? Yeah. Yes. Do you, yeah, sorry, I, I always I, I have this saying. And many people, um, I think, are sometimes when I ask this, uh, they're, they're quiet because they don't know what I mean when I say so far so good. Do you understand what I mean by so far so good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I'm just wondering because some, some people, they've asked me, you know, teacher, what do you mean by so far so good? So just, just in case you're wondering, it's so far so good is an expression we use in English that means more like, um, hasta el momento todo bien? Right, that's yeah. Good idea. Um, all right, so here we have. Um, Teacher. Yeah. So, uh, could, um, could I say something like many families will need comforting after the hurricane? Is it, is it correct? Comforting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, many families will need comforting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so there you go. Um, okay, so here we have, uh, we have, over here we have the gerund after. Here we have the a passive infinitive. We always use it to the infinitive of the form to be. And we need to put the past participle of counsel, which is counseled. Okay. All right. So just to make sure that you do understand this, I'm going to write over here the um, the structure here is going to be subject plus. Keep 
And remember, keep can be, actually I'm going to put keep in capital letters just so that you understand that keep can be any form of keep. And then we have Jaren. Oops. Jaren plus, if you need the complement, you can also put the complement. Okay. All right, and over here in this one, the structure would be with the uh, subject. I think I'm just gonna put this. Here is your paper piece. The subject plus need, any form of need, plus gerund. Um, and if you need it, you can use a complement. You don't necessarily, you don't need it. Just like in, in these ones, if you notice, I didn't have a complement. So it's not necessary, only if you, if you want it. Okay. Um, and over here, the structure we're gonna be using is the subject plus need. plus the um, passive infinitive, or mm, just to make sure that you don't get confused, we're going to be put in to be plus past participle. Okay, and technically that's what the passive, the passive, um, the, the, pass, the passive infinitive is, and then the complement if needed. Okay, so there you go. Those are the structures that we're going to be using with um, when we're talking about different problems here. Uh, do you have any questions you want to ask? Teacher? Yeah. Mm, maybe I didn't hear, but um, why you write his car needed. Oh, I just, um, the only reason is because I wanted to show you that, um, that there are different forms. Um, you can use the different forms of need. I hear I use simple present need. Here I use simple past needed. Here I use the future will need. So I, was just, I just did it on purpose to show you that we can use any form of need. So a need can be, it doesn't really matter about need, but what matters is the, that we always use the gerund after. Does okay. that answer your question? Uh, it's okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Right. Any other questions that you guys have? So it's okay? Yes, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. That's it. So um, I'm gonna stop sharing here. Yesterday, um, I asked you guys to um, pretend that you were, that you um, create a conversation, um, pretending that you were um, asking someone to come over to your house and um, and fix some something that is you know is broken whatever things like that. What I want you to do is think about the same things that you have, the same problems that you have in your house, but this time instead of using the um, the um, the past participles as adjectives or nouns, we're going to be using keep or need with a gerund 
or with the passive infinitive. Okay? Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wonderful. So I'm going to assign you into groups um, and I want you to work on that. Okay. I want you to tell your um, your partner a little bit about, uh, about the things and using, remember, need and keep. Those are the two verbs that we're going to be using, plus a gerund or a passive infinitive. So let's see. Um, I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. You go ahead. Join your groups. Advice. Okay, no problem. Yesterday, yeah. I was I, I was watching something like um, uh, we're describing problems using past participle as adjectives, like uh, a nouns. Okay. For example, uh, uh, when the when when the things are broken, are rotting, are are um, scratched or cracked. Uh, okay. We was, we was using uh, bears uh, when you need to describe uh, a situation. For example, in class yesterday, we we're talking about uh, when when your when your 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 things, for example, your TV are broken, and or or for example, your cell phone. Uh, uh, was scratched and does, and and we only use uh, uh, the description the object for example for example um, uh, the fruit is rotting we only check uh, the 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 in, in this case the the fruit is your subject and you can use only is are and the verb in in past participle only that for example one one those one those example are the lens are scratched only that he, um, the other way uh, that we we saw yesterday is there are scratch on dent this is this is the, the two ways Okay, it's, it's like to something like describe the problem that needs to be fixed. Yeah, we only we only was describing uh, things uh, that need to fix it. Okay. Only that. Just remember that uh, we use we were instead of saying we was. It's we were. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. Just this reminder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not good, yeah. Do you guys have any other questions that I can help you with? Yes, teacher. Can you please repeat the activity? Yeah. Um, okay. For example, to give you an example, um, yesterday you um, using that example that uh, you said where um, the glasses are scratched. Right, it, scratched being the past participle used as a as an adjective. 
So what we're going to do now, we're going to talk about the same problems, but using keep or need. In this case, it's not a repetitive action, but instead it's a problem that needs attention. Mm -hmm. So we say um, the glasses need to be changed, for example. All right. Yeah? All right. Okay. Yeah. So, so what we're going to do the same thing. We're going to be using keep or need plus a gerund or a passive infinitive with the word need. Okay, so practicing the same problems, but we're now, now using the structure that we learned today. All right, thank you. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Any other questions? No, it, everything is fine. All right. Uh, if you guys yeah. have any other questions, I'll come back. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, who wants to be the first? You needed to be fixed. Fixed. Needed to be fixed. Needed to be fixed or needed, needed fixing, right? Yes. Yes, that's the thing. And I have also a TV that needs fixing because um, it's a screen sometimes um, keeps um, going off and coming back on and I don't know why. What do you yeah. think about it? Yeah, um, I can do something for you and the TV needs to be fixing. I'm going to check in your TV. All right, okay. um, Josue, just very good, except that in this case, if you're going to be using needs to be, uh, you have, after needs to be, you have to use the past participle. So it needs to be, Fixed. Fixed. Yes, or, fixed. Or you can say needs fixing, fixed. but don't Make combine. Fixing. Don't combine um, to be and the gerund. Okay. Okay. Does that make Maybe. sense? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher. Yeah. Instead of going off, can I use turning off? Uh, depends. What are you talking about? And if I'm talking about that, the TV um, turns off uh, by itself. Uh -huh. Can I use um, turning off uh, instead of use using um, going off? No, because uh, go off it means a different thing. For example. Um, an alarm clock go. An alarm clock can go off. Okay. It, go off means mostly like sound to sound or explode. So you just gotta be careful how to use that one. What, what would be the for example in Spanish? What would be the difference so that I can understand it well? That because I've already read it, read them, and I've. Uh, I've, I haven't been able to understand what is the difference between the those words. The thing is that go off has, it's a, it's a, it's a phrasal verb and phrasal verbs have many different meanings. Um, yeah. Sometimes go off can mean like uh, son, sonar, like la alarma sonó, the light, the alarm went off. Okay. Um, it, we can also say, for example, he went off and did something. He went off and did his own thing. It means like, él se fue y hizo lo que cosa. Right? It, so it, it really it means different things. It depends. Um, let's see, also go off. Um, because, for example, today, uh, while I was working in the platform, I saw one example about the electricity, for example. The woman was saying that the electricity 
was uh, going off and coming on, coming back on. I don't remember well. Yeah, I think it's like that. Yeah, in that case, um, oh, oh, sorry, also, uh, see, that's another thing is that go off can also mean like an explosion. Like um, okay. the, the, um, the bomb went off, right? It means it exploded. Right. Okay. Um, in this case, um, we can we can also talk about, um, yeah, it, the lights went off when went off. Yeah, it means like they basically, um, yeah, they turned off, but but not because it, it's more like um, something external, like an uh, like a power outage. Okay. Yeah. Does not because. Not because somebody else turned it off. No. That's what you mean. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys back in a moment, okay? Okay. In the main room. Sure. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, Rafael. Your uh, TV needs fixing. Yeah, new fixing, <laughs> right. <laughs> Sometimes it's hilarious. Like, oh my, two point something. I don't remember. I really blind. Um, but yeah, I need to use glasses. But when I told you, I broke my glasses today, so I need to buy another one. But they're so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And um, if you have more aumento, uh, the sunglasses are more expensive. Yeah, I know. That's so sad because we need to pay for glasses to see the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for recognizing people in yeah. the street. <laughs> yeah. You guys have any questions? Hi. No, I think all. I think all oh, is okay, teacher. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. okay. Bye. All right, guys. Um, so you had a chance there to talk to your your partner. Um, any questions that you have about those two structures? No, teacher. Okay. Um, so, like I said, these are different ways that we can talk about problems. It, to give you an example, a problem um, that I mentioned uh, when one of the groups was, if you say um, my my TV is scratched, or you no, know, maybe not scratched, but wouldn't be so much a problem. Maybe if I say, um, okay, so yesterday I gave the example, the 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 screen on my cell phone is cracked. If I say the, the, the screen on my cell phone is cracked, I would say, um, so cr is cracked is using the past participle as a, as a adjective, but we can also say my, my cell phone, my, sorry, my cell phone screen needs to be changed or my um, cell phone screen needs 
changing, right? So we can use either the passive infinitive or the gerund after need. We wouldn't use keep because it's not a repetitive, it's not a repetitive action that is a problem and it's not something that's annoying, right? Uh, but so it really, really depends on what you're describing, okay? Yeah. Okay. Any, any other questions that you guys have? No, teacher, it's okay. Okay. All right, well, guys, um, that will be all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, remember, is our last day of class this week. And then um, and we're actually going to start tomorrow on the platform section two, okay? So guys, thank you okay. for us. Um, it's been great to see you and see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Good night. 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 Good night.